Welcome back to our channel. This is how we left our assembly. So we've got the PCB on the top. We've got it sandwiched in between the two controller halves. But we've got no cutouts or the buttons at the moment. So we're going to add those in this video. So from within the assembly, let's edit this top part. And let's start a sketch on the top of the circular face here. We can actually reuse that button sketch that we used to make the circular parts of the buttons. So we don't have to redraw all of those shapes manually. To do this, expand the PCB part, and then find the sketch that you need. It'll be underneath one of the top buttons features. It's the same sketch on both features, and then try to offset it. So select the sketch and press offset entities, and let's try and offset. 0.5mm. Now might find that this doesn't work. Sometimes you can't offset directly. So if you find that this happens, then you can close the offset tool. Make sure you've still got the same sketch selected. And then instead of offset, choose convert. So that will convert all of those shapes into this new sketch. We can then offset from these converted shapes and it should work properly. So you can press Ctrl A to select all of those shapes and then press offset entities. We want to offset half a millimeter outwards. So we are making holes that are a little bit larger than the buttons that fit through. And then before we press OK, here in construction geometry, make sure you have a check in piece geometry but not in offset geometry. This will mean that the piece line, those original shapes, will be construction lines. But the offset lines, the new larger ones, will be solid lines. So press OK and we can see those inner shapes are construction and the outer ones are solid. So we can use these to cut away our button holes. We can do this just by going to features, extruded cut, and we can go through all or line, and then we can expand the appropriate feature. And we can call that something like buttons cut. And we can exit editing the part, and there we've got holes for the buttons all the way around, and we can save our part. Now the last new part we need to add is the joysticks. So we are going to quickly make those in this video. So start a new part. These are very simple model. It's just one single feature, which is a revolve. So start a sketch on the front or the right plane. It doesn't really matter which one because it is a revolve. Then just draw the joystick profile, something like this. So it goes straight up from the origin and goes out to the side, goes down a little bit, comes in. There's a little neck there and it goes out again a little bit wider, down to the bottom and then back into the origin. Then we can set some dimensions. So across here at the bottom is 16. This large part of the bottom is 40 millimeters high. This part of the top where your thumbs is actually set is 4 millimeters high. Then the height of this little neck part is 10. The thickness of that neck area is 7 millimeters. And then the thickness of this top cap is 12. Then there's just a few sketch fillets on there to round off some of the corners. So I'm going to get the sketch fillet tool. This large bottom one is 10 millimeters. The next one up is a little bit smaller, that's 8 millimeters. And then the very top here on the cap is 2 millimeters. And then you should have a fully defined closed profile. And we can use this to make a revolve. So go to features, revolve ball space. For the axis of revolution, just a large vertical center line that goes up the middle. And you should have something like this. Then let's just change the color of this a little bit. Make it a bit darker. And I'm going to save this as something like joystick 2022. We can now insert this into the assembly. So I'm going to go back to the assembly. I'm going to go to assembly, insert components. I'm going to choose that component. And I'm just going to place it around here. Then I'm going to mid in place by using a concentric mid on a round part of the joystick. And also on a round part of the area that fits into. I'm going to move it about the right height. So about there, I'm going to hide the top part, and then I'm just going to make the bottom of the joystick and the inside of the bottom part coincident. And obviously, this is quite a simplified version of the joystick. In real life, they're much more complex, and it would be fixed in here somehow, and also connected to the PCB. We can then also mirror this part over, so I'm going to select the joystick part. I'm going to select the right plane of the assembly and I'm going to go to linear component pattern, click on the drop down and choose mirror components. And we don't need to click forward through all of the other options there. We can just click OK because it's a revolved part. We don't need to worry about the orientation. Now we need to cut a hole for these joysticks. So I'm going to edit that top part again. I'm going to start a sketch on this top face of the joystick holder. I'm going to go normal too. And I'm just going to throw a circle at the center point of that face. I'm going to make this 28mm diameter 
and I'm going to add a center line and mirror it over to the other side. Then I can do an extruded cut through all. So remember, we are only editing this top part, so even if we go through all, it's only going to cut through this top up. And you can rename that as just the cut and exit editing the part. If you look at the controller now, you can see we've got the hole for the joystick. It already looks quite fit between the size of the hole and the size of the joystick. And there is also a little allowance distance which in my opinion is sufficient. As well as the inside of the controller, especially the PCB parts are relatively invisible. So that it can be more sterile from unwanted objects. Then we are going to make a bit of a valley, just like the real one, to show that it's the area of the buttons, both the directional and standard buttons. And firstly, choose that top part by using a right click, and then choose edit part, and I'm going to make a sketch in this direction buttons area. Choose center rectangle tool, and we can draw from the center of the circle, make it larger than the holes. Do the same thing for the horizontal one, and set the dimension, and I'm going to make them 13 and for the length 38 millimeters. And then just click OK and make them equal to the horizontal. And we can use Trim Entities tool to remove unneeded lines. And just click OK. And we will use the Center Line tool and start sketch from the origin here, upward. And then we use Mirror Entities. And I'm just going to press Ctrl A and press Mirror Entities tool. So now we have two values for the directional and standard buttons areas. And then to make the depth of the values, we can use Features, Extruded Cut, and choose Blind Type, and set the depth a half millimeter. And then just press OK. And then we can rename this cut as something like Buttons Area Cut. So we can exit editing the part. And at this point, we can save our assembly. To recap, in this video we cut those holes for the buttons, we did this by editing the top part, and then we tried to offset the sketch from the PCB, we found we couldn't offset that directly, so instead we converted it first, and then we offset the converted entities, and that worked correctly. Next, we modeled up the joysticks. These were just a simple revolve. It was just made with straight lines and a few sketch fillets. We saved this new part. And then we inserted it into the assembly, made it in place, and then mirrored it over so we've cut two of them. Then we cut a hole for the joystick, and we made a good cap for the joystick and its hole. And then we made buttons area fairly, we mirror it over, and we made another extruded cut. So we are almost done with the controller now. In the next video, we'll do a final assembly, we'll put in some screws, and we'll have a few final checks of the parts and assembly. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like, I hope to be a little helpful and useful.